Buhari won't delay in appointing ministers for second term, Adezina assures Nigerians. Femi Adezina, special advisor to the president on media and publicity, has assured Nigerians that President Muhammadu Buhari won't delay in appointing ministers for his second tenure in office. After securing victory in the 2015 elections, it had taken almost six months before a full list of ministers was released for Buhari's first term in office. However, Adezina has assured Nigerians that there won't be delay this time, while noting that the All Progressives Congress APC, will have a stake in who gets ministerial appointments. Speaking in an interview with The Guardian newspaper published on Sunday, Adezina also said the transition to a new government on May 29, 2019 would be seamless. He said, what makes it better is that the leadership of the outgoing government is the same as the incoming one. Ministers had been told to turn in their stewardship reports by April 24, and I believe all of them complied. The valedictory Federal Executive Council FEC, meeting will hold on May 24, and different committees are working on the May 29th inauguration ceremony. Things are shaping up beautifully. The circumstances are no longer the same. So, there would be no delay. When you land in the mud of poor and delayed handover notes as happened in 2015, with a vandalized economy and a polity with different types of challenges, the delay would be understandable. But now, we have a good fortune of transition from government to government headed by the same president and vice president, things can then be done more expeditiously. The party will surely have a stake and voice in who makes the cabinet, but it won't lord or impose things on the president. The president is a member of the party, and the party will have its dues, but the box still stops at the president's table. Speaking on whether some outgoing ministers would be retained, given the general perception of poor performance, he said, that is a matter of opinion. If that is what you believe, you are entitled to it. But it does not make it the gospel truth. Members of the outgoing cabinet have served with diligence and commitment, and that is why the president kept them till now. If there was any laggard, you can be sure the president would not suffer such person gladly. On why the president's kitchen cabinet does not seem to reflect the plurality expected of a national government, Adazina defended the president, saying, Members of kitchen cabinets are people you know closely, and whom you can vouch for. There's nothing that says such must be subjected to federal character principle. A president composes his kitchen cabinet of people he knows, and is comfortable with. But on a general note, Vice President Yami Osin Bejo has indicated that the incoming government would be one of national unity. The president will always do what is best for the country at any given time.